Hello, hello. Welcome to a drawing session with me, Kelsey, and my dog, Shep. Today I want to talk about creating good drawing habits. I recently read the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, and he made some really good points. For example, if you trained a skill to get 1% better each day, after a year, you would end up 37% better. But conversely, if you get 1% worse each day, you decline to nearly zero. What starts as a small win or a minor setback accumulates into something so much more. So I'm going to focus on getting 1% better at drawing people each day. And my defined habit is drawing my sketchbook every day, one page, studying images from Pinterest. This builds up my visual library and drawing muscle memory. The tools I will be using are a mechanical pencil, eraser, and sketchbook. I have tried to create drawing habits for myself in the past on the computer, but after working digitally eight hours a day after work, my eyes need a break. I find drawing with the mechanical pencil a lot of fun too. And when you find something fun, you're more likely to do it and keep up the habit. The fun bit was something I learned from listening to Ali Abdul's videos on YouTube. And well, good question is, how do you know what habit you want to build every day? Getting better at drawing people is something I've always wanted. It's always something that I've put off that, oh, you know, sometime in the future, I'll get better at drawing. But um, I know I just realized I would be sad if it didn't happen. So why not make it happen in the present? Why not start today? And another thing James mentions in his book, Atomic Habits, is to set a cue for your habit. For example, I like to practice figure drawing at night before I floss my teeth. This is both a time and preceding event cue. Night is the time, and flossing is the event that comes after. When you set a schedule cue, you start to crave the habit, which is exactly what we want. Before this, I would practice drawing figures maybe three random times a week. Drawing sporadically hasn't really helped me see any skill gains. Like, I draw every day for work, but... It's not character drawing. I'd be mostly drawing props or environments. So when I would randomly practice in my sketchbook, I would end up drawing the same three-quarter pose each time, which is not a bad angle, but it wasn't trading my mind to think about dynamic poses. With the set practice every day, I can think in advance what I want to draw instead of being pressured in the moment. And if I have more things I want to draw after completing my habit, I know there's always tomorrow. It's like training for a marathon. I don't want to do more than one page of drawing per day because I know it will wear me out. If I try to do two or even five pages in a day, I know I'm not going to want to draw tomorrow. And that's not what we want. Drawing for myself every day has also affected my mental state in a positive way. Previously, a day without drawing for myself actually depressed me a lot. So having the set time every day to draw for myself and study is really great. Not only that, I find myself having more content to add to YouTube. Um, previously, with digital drawing, it was hard to record myself on the computer. I didn't like it. But drawing in my sketchbook, I find it easier to record myself drawing. It seems more natural. Also, in my computer, uh, my files are kind of disorganized. So even if I would draw a couple times, it would, it would be hard for me to find previous files to flip through. But when it's all in a sketchbook, it's just pretty easy to flip to the previous page and see everything you've worked on for the week or the past couple days. And I feel really fulfilled when I see that type of progress. And I'm not saying that every day I'm making successful drawings and the habit is going as planned. There are days where I feel tired and I barely clock it in at the end of the day. The drawings aren't as defined, but you know what? I've got, I got my hour in and you know, maybe I learned something more about loose figure drawing and drawing under a quicker timeline. There has been a day where I missed the habit and I made up the extra page on the weekend and that felt great. So don't let setbacks get you down. Um, it's all part of the process. So take some time in the present and think about who you want to be in the future and what habits can help you get there. Maybe have some extra time in your schedule to fit a good habit in, or if you have a bad habit, maybe you can take it out and replace it with a good habit. I know I didn't spend that much time talking about the drawing itself, but 
hope in the future um, I can make some more videos talking about my drawing process and thoughts I have while drawing. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave any comments below if you have any feedback, would love to hear it. Uh, luckily Shep has been really patiently sitting by my side as I've been drawing. Here's how the sketchbook page turned out. Thanks for spending your time listening to this you video. Draw, Shep? You wanna draw? You wanna draw? Draw? Why are you so confused at the word draw? I say it all the time. You know the words. You know the words.